Hi, we're the Greens. I'm Todd. And I'm Judith, Perkins Smith Jones Anderson Green. And this is Land Yachting Reviews. Where are we at this week, Peaches? We are at the Louisville South KOA Holiday. It actually, uh, Peaches, the uh, locals pronounce it Louisville. Oh, well, I'm not a local from Kentucky. Yeah, okay, so anyway, we're here to give you a review of this wonderful park, and we've stayed here recently, and mm -hmm. we're going to start reviewing all the parks we stay in, just for you. So join us. Welcome. Aside all the years of ambition, drink a few beers while the sun beats down on the skin. He's calling it a redneck midlife crisis, don't want to buy a fancy new car. A good fishing hole is good for the soul. Thanks for joining us as we conduct our very first of many RV park reviews here at the lovely Louisville South KOA Holiday, located just south of Louisville, Kentucky. Cuddle Bear? Upon your arrival at the Cuddle park, you'll be instantly awash with excitement and splendor. Todd! You... Uh, geez, what, Peaches? What in the gosh darn world are you doing? Well, I just thought, Peaches, since we're narrating this review, I'd do my best radio announcer voice. How do you like it? You know I love your radio voice. But I think the good folks in RV land would rather just hear from us. Try to do it the right way. For me? Okay, please? Oh, okay, but let me back up here. And this is just for you, Peaches. Thanks for joining us as we conduct our very first of many RV park reviews here at the Louisville South KOA Holiday, located just south of Louisville, Kentucky. We put together our own super secret, well-guarded formula for rating a park, and believe me, it's worth its weight in gold. So if you want to see how we scored this park, email us at hello at toddandjudith.com and we'll send you a copy. Now, the exterior at the front office is a welcome sight to a road-weary traveler. The extra wide lanes allow multiple RVs of any size without impeding guest entry into the park. My big pet peeve. Just one, Cuddle Bear? Well, just one for now. But just for you, Peaches, handicap spaces and extra parking are right up front and rarely ever full. Oh, that warms my heart. Yeah. Okay, so the store is well stocked with the usual fare of RV necessities. No organic, sadly. Yeah, I know. That's kind of a bummer, huh? Well, anyway, we see a clean, well-organized store, complete with RV supplies, food, and souvenirs. So, but if you don't see what you need, there's a Walmart just three miles away. So, what do you want to talk about, Peaches? Well, Todd, as a qualified, certified, licensed, and revered public drinking fountain inspector for the last 23 years, I just have to be the one to talk about laundry and restroom facilities. So scooch on over, Cuddle Bear, and let me do my thing. Okay, Peaches, go. The first thing you notice in the laundry room is they thought of the many laundry needs of campers. Even though I don't need to sit, there are those who like to watch the machines go round and round, round and round, round uh, and... Uh, peaches. Oh, yeah, Just Sorry. go back, okay? Cuddle Bear. With four chairs for plentiful seating and a clean room, there's even an iron ironing board and hanging thingy to touch up those occasional wrinkles, something you don't often see at an RV park. Laundry supplies are sold at the general store in case you forgot yours or ran out, something I never do. Yeah, but I checked and I made sure they have them just in case. The laundry sink with soap and towels is as clean as the machines and a nice added touch for cleanliness. The machines were all functional and most importantly, clean, and the only dirt we saw was just a little lint, typical of dryers. This laundry room gets the official Judas seal of approval and a five peaches rating. Well, wait a minute, I thought we were just rating the entire park with uh, zip fizzes because the rating in Cuddle Bears you said was too, uh, uh, what'd you call it, uh, precocious? Well, that would be pretentious, and oh, yes, we are. Sorry. Uh, the, sorry, Cuddle Bear. I just got a little extra creative because it was such a great laundry. Oh, okay, yeah, I thought it was pretty good too. So what about the restrooms? I think all RVers would agree that the most important factors in judging RV park restrooms are cleanliness and supplies. Oh, Peaches, you mean like the stuff they have in the vending machines in the men's room at the truck stops? Oh, my Lanta Todd, absolutely not. Oh, sorry. What I meant was, while the decor is nothing to write home about, these restrooms make up for it in cleanliness. No toilet seat liners are found, sadly, but there are coat hangers for full hands. You'll find multiple soap and towel dispensers to keep the area stocked during peak hours. And extra kudos for having a paper towel dispenser and trash can both at the exit for clean people who know not to touch the door handle on their way out. I'm really sad about sharing this last point, though, Cuddle Bear. Really? How come, Peaches? 
Well, like many RV parks, there were no apparent facilities for the handicapped, and I just... You know, I get so choked up when I think about not being inclusive towards our differently abled fellow citizens. Oh, I know, Peaches. You know, but the counselor says you're making a lot of progress in this area. Wow, what can we say about such a warm, bright, and friendly area like the pool at the Louisville South KOA? We just had to touch on this because theirs is a real home run. Uh, cuddle bear. Oh, sorry, Peaches. From the crystal clear water to color coordinated chairs and landscaping. Yeah, so pretty. Oh, you betcha. Umbrellas to offer shade on those hot summer days uh, to the sheer size of the pool and surrounding area. A family could very easily lose track of time and spend an entire day here relaxing and cooling off. Oh, okay, okay kettle bear. L let me talk about the playground. Uh, scooch. Oh, okay, just yeah, your sure thing, Peaches. I'll just be over here until you're finished, okay? Much better. Well, with a great place for the kids to stretch out after a long day on the road of being cooped up. They call it the Pocket Park, although I don't really know why because there were no pockets or pants or shorts or skirts or shirts or quilts or kilts anywhere. But, well, with a huge colorful bouncy pillow, life-size chess and checker sets, basketball court, horseshoe pits, kids are sure to be instantly drawn to the wide open area with room to run, play, and work off all that stored up energy. Anytime we drove or walked past, there were kids of all ages having fun. Yeah, none of them would let me play. Okay, so while driving through the park, it's really easy to see why this park rates so high on our scale. See, the driving lanes are really good, and sites are longer than typical for most of the parks we've seen. Now, while not very level, the, the sites appeared long enough to accommodate longer rigs or truck and trailer combos without any problem. And, and that dump station, oh boy, that dump station, it's easy to get to, and it's fully curbed sewer inlet for health and safety. Like I always say, health and safety first. That's right, Peaches. Now, not every RV park has LP gas, but when they do, oh, it's worth mentioning. The landscaping, oh, that's really well kept, and the park packs up to a river. I think it's the Salt River. Several nature paths are around the park, too, for a morning stroll for mom and dad, or that Huck Finn-style adventure for the kids. One of our favorite features about this park is how it sits just a couple miles off the interstate and rests at the top of a hill above a state highway. You really feel as though you're out in the country here, safe and secure, like a queen looking down on her kingdom. Well, you know, I gotta tell you there, Peaches, I think you might have meant to say queendom. Only a king has a kingdom. Todd, there's no such thing as that. No such thing as a king? Well, I'm pretty sure that I read uh, something Let's about... Let's just finish the review and I'll read it for your bedtime story, okay? Okay, but can I do the announcer voice for the end? Of course, Cuddle Bear. Through our rating system of one to five zip fizzes, the Louisville South KOA scored a solid four zip fizzes. If you'd like to see how we scored it, email us at hello at toddandjudith.com and we'll send you our checklist. If you like this review or have stayed at the Louisville South KOA, leave us a note in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. So, uh, how'd I do on that one, Peaches? Did you like it? Did you like it? Did you like it? Wonderful as always, Cuddle Bear. Oh, gee, thanks. Good, Good night. night. Sleep, Sleep tight. tight. And, and don't, don't forget, forget, subscribe and like. like. Hey, we should do that in harmony. Okay, can I be the third part then? Oh, you betcha, Peaches.